Have you ever wondered about cars of the future? What would they look like? What fuel will they use? As we move away from fossil fuels and look towards innovative sources, TransOptions asked New Jersey high school students to create a model car that used hydrogen fuel cells. This project was created to ask those very questions of what's next and how, why, with answers and ideas provided by the STEM curious minds that will be our future. Interested to see what they've created? Me too. I'm Kristen Tomasicchio, and this is the 2021 Hydrogen Car Challenge. Hi there, welcome to H2 2021. So where does it all start? Right here in the TransOptions office. As you can see from the boxes behind me, we order a bunch of kit materials that we distribute to interested schools in September. So from September to December, students are working on their model car creations that they've showcased in the list you've just watched. Now what comes in that kit? A set of gears, a motor, front wheels, back wheels with their rubber bands, axles, and a battery pack with alligator clips for when you're not quite ready to test with your fuel cell. Loaned out to the interested schools, mini reversible PEM fuel cells. We've asked the students to go from a box of stuff to a finished creation. And as you can see from the videos, we've gotten some very creative responses. So before we announce the first, second, third place and student choice winners of this competition, I have to thank our students and our teachers and any of the mentors or parents that helped out along the way. This has been a remarkable year for H2 and what you've created has truly been fantastic. So thank you to all of our participants, whether it was your first year or your 15th year, we really appreciate all your hard work. Next, we have to thank our volunteer judges from HowMet and HowMet Foundation for being our sponsors. Melissa McCutcheon's prepared a short video for us to watch to introduce our judges and to thank them. Hello, Melissa McCutcheon here to introduce you to your 2021 Virtual Hydrogen Car Challenge judges. All of our judges are volunteers on behalf of HowMet Dover Alloy located in Morris County, New Jersey. They are leaders in their field and have all been volunteering with TransOptions for several years. So let's get to know them a little better. Our first judge is team lead, Anthony Colucci. Tony is a plant manager. He has 26 years of experience and his areas of expertise are manufacturing operations and process engineering. Tony studied materials science and has a BS from Rensselaer and an MS from Columbia. He plays guitar, also plays golf, and loves Disney World. Next up is Anish Matthew. Anish is an engineering manager with 14 years of experience. He holds a BS in mechanical engineering from Stony Brook University, and his areas of expertise include operations, engineering, and technology. Anish enjoys badminton, golf, and cooking. Judge Alexandra Ruff is a manufacturing engineer with eight years of experience. She holds a BS from Rutgers University in mechanical engineering, and her professional expertise includes manufacturing and process engineering. Alexandra is also an accomplished runner who loves to travel. Last but not least is Anthony Rabato, a senior manufacturing engineer. Anthony has 20 plus years of experience in facilities and manufacturing engineering. He holds a BS in mechanical engineering from Rutgers University, is a New York Giants football fan, and his hobbies include taking things apart. Anthony would like to remind our students that it's not all just sitting in an office. Here he is working at the top of a 20-ton bridge crane. Again, TransOptions would like to thank the HowMet Aerospace Foundation for their investment in STEM, technical education, and workforce development initiatives with an emphasis on increased access to STEM fields for underrepresented individuals. HowMet grants more than $7 million annually to nonprofit partners like TransOptions, and this effort is supplemented 
by the volunteer activities of Howmet Aerospace employees. Let's have a round of applause for our Howmet volunteer judges. Before we announce the winners, I would like to give a shout out to all of the high schools involved in this year's competition. We have Bergen Academies, Booten High School, Madison High School, Morris County School of Technology, New Providence High School, Piscataway High School, Roxbury High School, and Union County Magnet High School. Now it is time to announce the winners of the 2021 Hydrogen Car Challenge. All videos were scored for points in fuel cell functionality, craftsmanship, engineering, and video presentation. The Student Choice Award, the video with the most likes as of noon on December 16th, coming in with 363 likes, winning an engraved wooden plaque and a $50 Amazon gift card for the team is Team 3 from Piscataway High School. Congrats. Coming in third place, taking home an engraved wooden plaque and a $50 Amazon gift card for the team is Engineering Car from Madison High School. The judges were particularly impressed with your craftsmanship and engineering choices. Congratulations, Madison High School. Coming in second place, winning an engraved wooden plaque and a $75 Amazon gift card for the team is Hydrobus from Morris County School of Technology. You earned top marks for your fuel cell explanation and for the creativity and clarity of your video. Congrats. And now, taking home first place overall, receiving an engraved plaque and a $100 Amazon gift card for the team will be Polar Express from Union County Magnet. Polar Express, the judges were just blown away by how well you explained the fuel cell function and your engineering choices. Your score was near perfect. Congratulations. Well, that's a wrap for Hydrogen Car Challenge 2021. We hope you have enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you for next year. If you would like to bring the Hydrogen Car Challenge to your classroom, feel free to look on our website for more information, transoptions.org, or find us across all social media at transoptions, or you can email me, Kristen, at kthomasicchio at transoptions.org.